Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to explain to you how I create this kind of hole in my model using two different techniques but the result is the same. Why two different techniques? Because one is pretty quick for uh, perfect squares like this and the other one is more suitable for models like rectangular models. So let me show you what I mean. By going to create geometry plane we are going to create a perfect uh, rectangle rectangular model by using four length segments and four width segments and right click on it and convert it to editable poly. Going to vertex selection and selecting these vertices and going to connect and connect them selecting the center one and holding shift and clicking on chamfer we are just going to create this polygon and select it and delete it now this is pretty quick <laughs> and it works perfectly with uh, perfect squares but now if we create a plane that is more something like this and we do the same four length segments and four width segments and just convert it to editable poly and well, I'm going to duplicate it to have the base model same base model for the second technique so now if we do the same way that we did before just selecting these vertices and going to connect and selecting the center one and then just shift chamfer it again BAM! You see what I mean? When <laughs> I mean it's not going to work perfectly for this case, in this case. So we can go in and uh, fix this manually by just having these four vertices selected and pressing Shift X on the keyboard or clicking here on Constraint to Edge and selecting, pressing R on the keyboard or going up to here to select a uniform scale and then just move these vertices uh, like this and make it something like this and then just delete it. Now if we apply a mesh smooth modifier <laughs> well it's almost a perfect circle but if we look closely uh, we can still see it's not it's more in to ellipse uh, shape but uh, we can still go back and realign the vertices manually but I would like to show you a different technique uh, how you can make a perfect circle with the tools that 3ds Max uh, offers so I'm going to go to polygon selection Whoops. select these four polygons and just inset them I'm going to inset them twice and I'm going to go to edge selection, select this edge, loop it and going to loops just click on this kind of arrow if you don't see this lower part and click on loop tools and I'm going to flex it and circle it now I'm going to go back to polygon selection and grow it one time and then just delete it and if we apply a mesh smooth modifier we can see we created a perfect hole perfect circle hole <laughs> well we can see now the difference more obviously this is handmade hole and this is a hole in creating with a loop tool so this is pretty much it for me for this tutorial. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Like your like this uh, video, uh, comment it, and till next time. Bye.